It's 10 questions on the beautiful islands of Hawaii and all things Hawaiian, as picked by Patreon subscriber Greg Hines. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds, and also Aloha. Thanks for checking out this episode. Today's episode is all about Hawaii, as picked by Patreon subscriber Greg Hines. He has been a subscriber on Patreon for the last couple months. He's also been on the show before doing some trivia on the theme of pizza. So thanks for recommending this topic, Greg. Greg gets to pick a topic as a $5 Patreon member over at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. He gets to pick a new topic every single month. So if you want to hop on board with that, that would be very cool of you. And you can kind of form the show to be what you want it to be. It's almost completely run by the patrons now, which is tons of fun. And uh, I love trying to come up with questions for the topics you guys come up with. Uh, Speaking of Hawaii, I've never been to Hawaii. I have an uncle, my uncle Blaine, Blaine Finn, who moved to Hawaii when he was about 18 years old in the 70s, and he has never come back. (laughs) He's come back to visit and things, but he just moved there and said, I'm never going back to the Chicagoland area. And he's about 60 now. He's been out there forever. He has a family out there. He has three almost grown, completely grown kids. And um, he's worked for Hawaiian Air for years. And a fun fact about him, he got to interview Betty White for an infomercial in the early 90s. I don't know why. I don't know what it was for. It was some kind of Hawaiian infomercial, maybe for like a resort or maybe it was a Hawaiian Air thing um, when he first started working there or something. But it was, uh, I remember he was running on the beach in the infomercial and then he like runs up to this area and it's like a sit down interview with him and Betty White. So very interesting stuff. I, I tried looking it up on YouTube. I'm sure it exists somewhere, but it is hard to find. So that's my uncle Blaine. Uh, a true Chicago slash Hawaiian. And uh, he has a son named Brandon, his oldest son, which is my cousin. My cousin Brandon got to meet Jackie Chan when he was in like eighth grade for winning a martial arts competition. He's always been in the martial arts and recently got into acting and very quickly got to be in a movie with Amy Schumer, I think, uh, Snatched. Was that what it was called? It was kind of, I think, a bad movie um, review wise, but it was Amy Schumer and... Goldie Hawn as her mom or kidnapped something about being kidnapped or snatched or something. Uh, I think he was in that for a second or had a, an extra role or something like that. Cause they filmed it in Hawaii. But most recently this past Friday, he was on Hawaii five Oh, the CBS show. And he plays like one of those thugs who doesn't know nothing until they twist his arm and then he knows everything. So, uh, it's kind of fun. And, uh, I put the link to watch his one minute clip in the show notes, if you want to click that and check out my cousin Brandon on Hawaii Five O, I also posted it on Facebook. If you're Facebook friends with me, just go back in my wall and look for that. Uh, today's episode, like I said, picked by Greg Hines. Thanks for the topic, Greg. Hawaii has been on my mind. And as somebody who's never visited there, but has seen Moana thousands and thousands of times, I need to go and experience what Hawaii is all about. So you're motivating me to do that sometime in the next year or so, Greg. It's time to dive into the warm waters of our 50th state as we do these 10 questions on Hawaii. Here we go. All right, here's Hawaii. Question number one. By the way, if you like these questions, we also did some Hawaiian-themed questions on an episode Um, I want to say about six or nine months ago. Actually, I think it was about a year ago now, which is crazy. It was for a couple's 60th wedding anniversary. So just search 60th wedding anniversary trivia with buds, something like that. You'll come across it. And it was five rounds in one episode that I had done for their party. And one of the things was Hawaii because I think they went on their honeymoon there or something. Uh, Here's question number one for today's episode on Hawaii. How many primary islands make up the state of Hawaii? Question number one, what are the primary islands. How many of them make up the state of Hawaii? Question number one. Question number two. Peter Jean Hernandez was born on October 8th, 1985 in Honolulu, Hawaii. What name is this singer better known by? Question number two. Peter Jean Hernandez was born on October 8th, 1985 in Honolulu, Hawaii. What name is that singer better known by? Question number three, true or false, Hawaii east to west is the widest state in the United States. 
Question three, true or false? Hawaii east to west is the widest state in the U.S. Question number four, Oahu contains the world's largest generator of a certain type. What type of generator do they have? That's the biggest. Number four, Oahu contains the world's largest generator of a certain type. What type of generator is it? Question number five, Don Ho had what two word song featuring something you might find in a bathtub? Question number five, Don Ho had what famous two word song featuring something you might find in a bathtub? Halfway through this quiz on Hawaii, here's number six. On the traditional poster or cover of Lilo and Stitch from 2002, what activity is Stitch participating in? Question number six. On the traditional poster or cover of Lilo and Stitch from 2002, what activity is Stitch participating in? Question number seven. In the comedy Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, does Zac Efron play Mike or Dave? Question number seven. Does Zac Efron play Mike or Dave in that movie? Question number eight. What is the first word in the lyrics to Elvis's hit song, Blue Hawaii? Question number eight. What is the first word in the lyrics to Elvis's hit song, Blue Hawaii? Question number nine. What dessert has its origins in China as early as the 7th century AD? Question number nine. What dessert has its origins in China as early as the 7th century AD? And number 10, Hawaii is the leader in harvesting what nut? Question number 10, Hawaii is the leader in harvesting what nut? All right, those are your 10 questions on Hawaii. Sit tight, grab yourself a Mai Tai, and we'll be right back with the answers to the Hawaiian questions in just a second. Here we go. Hopefully you learned or know a little something about Hawaii from this episode. Question number one, how many primary islands make up Hawaii? The answer is eight. Eight islands make up the primary islands of Hawaii. Question number two, Peter Jean Hernandez is better known as Bruno Mars. Maybe you got that one. Did you figure it out? Bruno Mars, the singer, born the same year as me, 1985, just about a month before me, almost exactly his birthday, October 8th of 85, my birthday, November 7th of 85. Number three, true or false, Hawaii east to west is the widest state in the U.S. That is true, wider than Alaska, which is crazy because Alaska is huge. Uh, but Hawaii, east to west, or west to east, I guess, is bigger uh, in terms of width. Number four, Oahu contains the world's largest generator of a certain type. That is a wind generator, the biggest one in the world found in the uh, island of Oahu. Number five, Don Ho had what two-word song featuring something you might find in a bathtub? Tiny Bubbles. Tiny Bubbles. Number six, on the traditional poster or cover of Lilo and Stitch from 2002, what activity is Stitch participating in? He is surfing. He is surfing. Is he a he or is he a she or does it is it undetermined? Uh, Stitch is surfing, whatever he is. Number seven in the comedy, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. Does Zach Efron play Mike or Dave? He plays Dave or David in the movie, which I saw and um, don't remember much about. I remember going like, all right, this is absolutely ridiculous movie. Uh, but that's it. Number eight, what is the first word in the lyrics to Elvis's hit song, Blue Hawaii? It is night. The first word in Blue Hawaii by Elvis, night. Number nine, what dessert has its origins in China as early as the 7th century AD? I was looking for Hawaiian shaved ice or snow cones or shaved ice in general, but uh, the phrase Hawaiian shaved ice was where I found that fact. And number 10, Hawaii is the leader in harvesting what nut? Macadamia, macadamia nuts, number 10. There it was, 10 questions on the paradise of Hawaii as picked by Greg Hines. Thanks again, Greg. Guys, I still have a few Funko VHS box t-shirts left if you want to sign up over on Patreon at the $10 or more a month level. Or if you up your existing subscription to anything $10 or more, I will send you that shirt for free as well. If you're interested, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and sign up for a tier that suits you. That would be awesome. I have a crazy busy rest of January and February this year, but if you have a party coming up, I'd love to work it into my schedule. You can always email ryanbuds at gmail.com to secure your date ASAP. I'm working on something with farmer's insurance that I hope comes through because that would be a fun one to just add to my list of clients. So uh, if you have a big company thing coming up or just a local party somewhere in Southern California, near or far, I'd love to do it for you. 
And uh, if you're in the Upland, California area on Saturday, January 26th, I'll be hosting the annual Brews and Bros Festival all day from noon to four at Cable Airport in Upland, put on by Last Name Brewing, where I've hosted trivia for almost three and a half years. We've got dozens of local vendors and breweries there, and I'll be running raffles and giving away a ton of free stuff and uh, cheersing you on an airfield. So get your tickets over at lastnamebrewing.com. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend about this podcast, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. 